Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC. I just ate a mouthful of Gushers. You remember Gushers? They still exist. Sorry. Anyway, we got a little Kaiser pouch here. This is from Android Goat. The giant box of knives he sent me three months ago. I'm working on it, pal. I'm doing my best here, okay? This is hard. It takes a lot of time and a lot of social and emotional and physical energy. But we got another one. I have like six more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have like ten more. He sent me like 30 knives. It's a nightmare. Anyway, let's bust this thing open. Should be fun. I don't know what's in it. I kind of know what's in it. Because the list. Thank God for the list. Let's, uh, let's open it. <laughs> is right a little <coughs> a little kaiser pouch double purple dots that means tour knives chasm i've known about tour knives i've heard about tour knives for a while but i've never handled a tour knife until now oh it's a little guy okay yeah so when i saw these come out look at that murdered murdered out this is a good looking knife very simple very clean when i first saw these the first thing that popped into my head was chris reeve right chris reeve knives um, it just, these are all American made and they're relatively affordable. Future me like 300 or less, like crazy good value. I think we saw one. There's one on blade binge right now for like two something, like 200 bucks. All American made titanium frame lock, deep carry clip. Nice. Deep carry clip. A couple of standoffs there. Super lightweight, really thin. Nice jimping on the blade spine. A couple of thumb studs there. Close size comparison rack quick. We'll make it. We'll do a little quick vid real quick since I have 10 video, 10 knives to get through. A little bit smaller than the pair of three. Right about rock wall size. Like just in general. Height, girth, width, length, it all. It's all right about rock wall size, which I like for EDC. Let's flick her open. That didn't work so well. So just like the Chris Reeve knives. Yeah, that didn't work so well. That still didn't work so well. That still didn't work so well. That also didn't work so well. Okay. Something tells me this this pivot is cranked. Something tells me. Oh, it's a non-captive uh, captive pivot. Ow. Ah. Ah. I don't know that that's doing anything. No. Okay. Well, okay. So this is uh, uh, an old grandpa slow roller type of deal. And what we have when we old grandpa tiny uh, slow roll this thing open is an S35 VN blade future me R drop point recurve. Look at the look at the recurve on this dude. It looks like an accident. I'm not a big recurve guy. I gotta be honest with you. G give me a nice clean drop point on this, bro. And that's a nice looking knife. Very Sabinza ish, Sabinza esque, if you will. Ergo's on this guy, choke back, thumb on that jimping, really nice grippy jimping, locked in, no problem. Four finger grip, but barely, and I have smaller hands, so do keep that in mind. If you have big monster meat claws, you might not have much luck. That feels fine. Finger choil, choke up, thumb out on the blade, sure. No issues there. Pinch grip, all day. All day, good choil, locked in, good ergonomic lines, bro. Pinch grip all day for the tour chasm. The chasm, it's a good name. Full flat grind on that blade. Uh, S35VN, I believe. Again, all American made. Lock up is absolutely rock solid. But it is not a fidgety thing. So this is the action. This is your action. That's it. That's all you're getting. There is no reverse flick. There is no flicking of any kind here. This is old man, old grumpy old man on his porch yelling at minorities kind of slow roll. Um... Foster bronze washers. I just feel like that pivot's too damn tight. And the lock bar tension is obnoxious. Like, lock up, it's like just over 50%. So, yeah, I'd like to see them work on that. Give me a nice kind of Sabinza-ish experience, but let me flick the living shit out of it. You know what I mean? It's nice. It's solid. It's nice and smooth on those washers, but it is a workout doing this. Kind of, kind of bummer. Kind of a boner killer. Here's the acoustics. They suck. <laughs> Click. That's legitimately a workout for my poor little thumb. 
Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Action's kind of a fart. Mm-hmm. fart. Insert fart sound now. Tri- uh, future Tri-State. Future me. Uh, thanks. Anyway, no one turned a million to keep the weight down, even though it is relatively lightweight. I do want to cut something. Full flat grind. Recurve. F- kind of funky. Let me grab some paper. Oh, let's see what the chasm will do for us. Sure, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. A little toothy. Uh, sorry. Got some toothiness. Got some toothiness to it. But, you yeah, know. Is what it is. Is what it is. Whoop. 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 He may have used this too. This might not be the factory edge experience. I don't know. The issue is it being a recurve. There's no real good guided system out there for you. A pair of crock sticks, ceramic cone. You got to get fancy rounded stones. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Give me a sheep's foot. Give me a warning. Give me a tonto. Give me a drop point, baby. Hell, I'll take it all. Recurve? Come on now. But that is the tour chasm. I will leave links down below if you're interested. It's really well made. It's relatively affordable. It's all American made. Um, it cuts well. The ergos are nice. The ergos are really nice, actually. Nice deep carry clip. Um, yeah, if you want that Sabenza experience on a budget, that's about as close as I've seen. I just want that to be a little more loose so I can flick it open. The action's really falling short. But that is okay. That is it for me. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member, Patreon member. Hit me on Instagram, TikTok, and threads. I'm joking on these damn gushers. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.